Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, it's my Android 4 here, and welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles X. As in the last session, we completed ourselves a good chunk of, uh, affinity missions. Uh, a couple that actually mind-boggled me in terms of what we actually did. And, uh, I believe we actually did more so, um, like regular missions in terms of, uh, actually doing a session. Although I can't remember. It has been, uh... It's been a while since I've done a little recording session, so my mind's a bit on the blank side, if you know what I mean. But I do remember things to the extent... Wait, actually... Oh yeah, I do remember. I, I sort of remember. Uh, literally just something flashed on top of my head. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, got a bunch of Infinity missions done, did some regular missions, all that stuff. And of course, today, we continue on our grind for completing the Infinity missions with... A mission that is long overdue now. I actually began this mission, I want to say a couple sessions ago, but uh, I don't remember when exactly. So, yeah, I'm going to be starting this one from scratch, you know, go through it as normal, and uh, we'll see how it plays out. Also, you can see, I got a bunch of different gear for myself and for Elma. Not so much Lynn here, I couldn't really find anything that would fit her, in my opinion. And Alexa's still wearing what she's wearing from uh, the original thing, because... I'm not that big a fan of change, but yeah. I actually have been reading the comments. If by the time this is going up, it's a little late, but uh, I, I, I read the comments, and frankly, I was able to find uh, some way of building up money without having to actually, you know, grind out monsters in the normal world. So, by doing the Division missions, I was able to buy new gear, like this stuff, for example, so here's what I'm rocking right now, in case you guys are uh, any bit curious. In terms of what I have with my normal stuff, you got, you know, your basic stuff, the weapons, th nothing much changes. Forces sites, meh. We have original Norak, that's that's definitely new. Level 55 gear, and rare. Can only be purchased as far as I remember. Valor gloves, regional armillas, Valor pants. Um, some of the things are actually in the fashion gear, mainly because they weren't, they, they didn't compare, but uh... Yeah, that's just me, because I, I really want to change things up, and this looks badass. I'm not kidding, I like this a lot. M maybe not the leggings, you know, the pointy shoes kind of irk me the wrong way, but I, I, overall I do like what we're dealing with. And with Elma, Elma, I don't know why, but I am mesmerized by this outfit of hers. I don't know, maybe it's because of my uh, experience with female aliens and their uh, revealing clothes. I don't know. I just want to make sure I'm not pervert, I'm not anything like that, I just think it fits her and her character well. You know, her uh, chapter 12 character and all that. So she's got advanced regional souls, that's underneath. The, uh, got a hero, which is kind of odd. Personally, I like the one uh, worn by the males better, more specifically, fuck. So you got regional heroes, valor armor, vivid armor, old rising edges, yada yada yada. Fashion gear, what we have here. Ah, the Vivid Vestus, that's why I have a Warren Valor Elgard. I was hoping to find a matching one, but, uh, no luck. And honestly, it kind of bugs me that this right thing is like that. I could do orange, but... Actually, you know what? I'll do this. I'll do this. I don't know. It bugs me when stuff like that isn't uh, similar in, a ter in terms of uh, fashion. And then for her leggings, got the Valor Ocarises, or Oceris. Whatever you call it. As for Lynn, she's going towards a more engineer style look. She's wearing the murderous bodywear plus some prototype work pants, a busted headwear, but that means absolutely nothing in terms of her actual gear. And actually, I, let's see. Let's go back. Yeah, I don't think I've overall changed anything with her. I think she's still rocking the same stuff as prior. And for Alexa, I literally have not touched her since last time when we actually visited her quest. So I'm not going to even go over her new changes. Well, okay, I'll show this much, at least. Fashion gear, there you go. Host by wear with Bose's legs equals that. In case any of you guys want to, uh, experiment. But anyway, enough of this fashion talk. You're not here to see me, you know, babble on about, you know, fashion styles and what makes me comfortable. No, you guys came here to see the Affinity missions. So, let's, let's get started. And I mentioned this prior. What the scale? I like the tribute, what they're trying to tribute there. Just get rid of that K, replace it with an H, you get one of my favorite lines in the TMNT series. Get rid of the S, though, 
and you'll probably get me uh, when I'm more than frustrated about something. Uh, how much I do it though? Well, that that all depends on the series. But anyway, well, let's get started with this once more. Let and for any of you guys that remember what, uh, what happened last time. Why did I not see it sooner? It's so depressing. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, and for any of you guys that remember seeing this, I'm going to be keeping the old cutscenes in there. My choices might be a bit different because my logic might be changed uh, since I'm doing this on the weekend. I don't know. So try not to fault me for that kind of stuff. But let's see what we have here. So ask Alexa what happened. Cover her until Alexa that happened. She'll get through it. Or yes, ask Alexa if she thrashed a scale or trashed a scale. Hmm. I can easily guess that, but I don't want to sound like a jerk. I honestly don't. I like to have I like to have good affinity with my friends. Uh, what happened? Thanks. <laughs> That's sweet. If you don't mind listening. Please go ahead. I was I'm all ears. Shell weapon, right? Totally normal stuff. Then the prototype starts humming, then shaking, then boom. Goes the dynamite. It was a big unit, so the blast was huge. The other scales participating in the test got all jacked up too. And let me say, the researchers were not happy. It's a miracle no one was hurt. No kidding. This was my first time testing something made by someone other than Tika. Now I'm wondering if she wasn't carrying me as dead weight this whole time. Honestly, I'm bummed. Aww. I'm sure Alexa that the explosion was not her fault, even though it probably was. Encourage, tell Alexa she'll just have to knock it out of the park next time. Or challenge, ask Alexa if she's really going to let one mistake crush her spirit. I think I remember choosing this one last time. But for whatever reason, I don't remember why. One mistake crush her spirit. I say encourage, honestly. If there is a next time. But you're right, I can't let this happen again. Still, I know I caused trouble for everyone else. <sighs> Man, this sucks. But sitting here moping won't do anything. I have to tackle this one step at a time. And I could use some help. That's Say no more. Me in the first place, right? For starters, yeah. let's go apologize to Camber. Camber. All right. You don't know Camber. Actually, I kind of do. He heads up a team of four super talented scout pilots. Cool, huh? Yeah. I always drop by their place and drool over their sweet rides. Seeing all four of them side by side is just super wow. I could just sit there staring for hours. I probably would too if I were a mechanic. Ah, sorry, back to the point. Or had any interest in mechanics. It's my fault Camber Scal got wrecked and had to be taken in for repairs. It should be in the administrative district now. Let's take a look and talk to Camber. Simple enough. Alexa's feeling down after the foiled weapon test. Uh, let's help cheer her up. So we gotta go talk to Camber at the hangar in the administrative district. Alright, let's see if we can get the teleportation point correct. Oh yeah, and, and funnily enough, uh, one of the other affinity missions is actually right where we need to go. So let's make sure to tack tackle that later today or tomorrow. Uh, depending on how much time it takes to actually get stuff done. Hmm. Again, I don't, I don't plan these things out. I don't know how long I'll be going for. I like to go with the flow, that's just how I like to roll. But anyhow... Kimba, buddy! Rhymes with one in the chamber. Dropping by to check up on the skill? Yep. Well, thanks. That's nice of you. I really took a beating this time, huh? Here's a beatdown! You say that like it wasn't your fault. Mika, I... No, you're right. This one's on me. I'm sorry about this, Kimber. You too, Mika. Don't worry about it. Accidents happen during experimental weapons tests. You're too soft on her, Camber. 
We're out of work thanks to her. Stuck on the sidelines like a pair of chumps. What? It's not permanent. They're just running low on replacement parts. They're pretty scarce to begin with, and none are floating around on the market. So that's why it's still not fixed. Yeah, and without Skells, we can't do our job. So thanks for the vacation. Really. Tell them to just do their missions with ground gear, or protest, say they can't blame Alexa for a part shortage. No, but they can blame her for the experiment going wrong. And honestly, I kind of have to do that as well. So I'm going to go with a logical choice. Do what we do, for the most part. Uh, just do it with ground gear. Simple enough. Sure, but if not for that accident, we wouldn't be short one scale. So and what? The mission wouldn't demand one either. What do you mean? Our next mission has been decided. We're redoing the test you screwed up. You guys are? What, you weren't invited? Gee, I can't imagine why not. Anyway, the director of the project briefed us in person. Oh, I see. The test will start as soon as the scale that someone wrecked gets fixed. Then let me track down the parts. Here we go. That's the least I can do to help. Really? Alexa, that's a really generous offer. But that's not really an outfitter job. They'll get the parts in eventually. Don't but it will take up forever. I just want to be useful. That accident was at least partially my fault. Well, if you're sure, we won't say no. Ayo. Great. I'll have them for you lickety split. I look at the split. Yeah, and now we just have to talk to Camber. But here's the thing: when I originally did this mission, for any of you guys that don't remember or don't know, uh, here's what we had to actually go for. I'm going with the wrong thing. Uh, missions. What the scale? We had to get five standard blade modules from the fleet shreds in Caldros. We got our six pan analysis chips in Caldros. The six panel pan analysis chips I already had, you know, collect stuff is pretty easy. However, the five standard flash modules is painful to try and get. I, literally, earlier this morning, I tried and spent an hour fighting fleet strats at FN Site 503 in Caldros. You know, sneak up behind them, hit up the east side, and hope that they drop the item. I was there for an hour. Did not get one drop. So, might I suggest, if you have any war tickets, redeem them at your division console in the barracks. Because you can actually buy them for 54 tickets, I believe. So, if you don't want to waste your time, you know, grinding for a good day or so, depending on how lucky you are, I highly recommend doing that. Straight up. That being said, I took care of that business easily. And now we are ready for this, and from this point on, I have no idea what's going to happen. Maybe someone can smack Mika upside the head or something, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm very interested. Hey, Camber, are these what you need? Here are your blade modules. And some pan analysis chips. I hope yeah, these are useful. Cover the repairs. Thanks so much, Alexa. No sweat. I still owe you from before. If you want, I... Alexa, Tika wants you. Sounds like she has another test lined up. Oh, thanks! I'll go check it out. You'll come too, right? Bye, you two. Good luck with your tests. Yeah. We'll do our best. Drop by and see us again soon, Alexa. Will do. Okay then, talk to Tika now. Oh boy. I wonder if she's gonna get pissed off after that one experiment. You know, and that's her excuse for sending us or uh, for having us come over. Or who knows, maybe maybe she actually has a legit, legit test. Something mind numbing. Then again, I don't know. 
Well, let's go find out. And I can't see the character. Is there a specific time I need to do this for? Or no? Oh no, there she is. Just took her a while to spawn. Thank you, DLC patches. Sorry, you are a wait. godsend. Well, you're cheerier than I expected. I figured you'd still be moping. That's why I put a rush on the next job. Aw, oh, that's sweet. But yeah, Camber Skell is ready for repairs. Things are pretty much back to normal. Are they though? He's getting his hopes up. Hmm? About what? Anyway, back to the task at hand. I have a new prototype for you folks to try out. More I'm listening. I only work on skill tech for maybe one in five projects. I know you'd prefer the opposite, but them's the breaks. I'd like you to use the prototype on the indigents I specify. There are two sites this time. I need to make sure it can handle different weather and terrain. Oh, that's pretty cool. Makes sense. We're on it, Tika. And smart. So what do we have here? Defeat three Kenyan Kerators. Oh, and nighttime. And defeat Rodriguez, the twin turt. Wait, Rodriguez, the twin tusk. That name sounds awfully familiar, and I don't even want to know what I. Uh, oh, there are any gods that exist up in the Xenoblade clouds? Please have mercy on my soul. Oh, what do we have here? We need to equip a spark jet rifle. I hope this is worthwhile. Like, I, I really hope. Actually, can Alexa equip this? Uh, she should be able to. The ram jet rifle. Uh, that's the thing, right? The spark jet. Okay, just had to make sure. Had to make sure. And good thing I uh, double checked. Uh, Alexa, so spark jet, spark jet, spark jet. Where, where, where for are those spark jets? Plus rifle. I really wish I could order these by alphabetical order. Seriously, going through here is an entire cluster. Heck, it's something I'm not very fine with. Just gotta look for the word spark jet, spark jet, sparky, sparky, speck. Spick, 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 j- No sparks yet. Hold on a sec. Uh, quick stronger skier right now. Give her back her original- Wait, no, what, 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 what? Where did that thing pop up? I don't even know. I'm not gonna complain though. Okay, so level 12. Doesn't interfere with my weapon too much. Uh, let's see where this goes. And again. May the gods be on our side. But anyway, let's head on over to Silva. Wait, hold on. I was about to say that. Okay, there, there it is. Uh, we'll head over to FN side 403 first. If only because I time shift to uh, midnight. Because I don't want to have to wait for the things to spawn. I also hope we don't run into any more Z Doms. You know, I've become a little more comfortable with them, thanks to the Division missions, but, you know, that's still not my thing. Anyway, um, ba 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 You wanna bring it? Then bring it. Where's the clock? Oh. Enemy following? Oh. Beep! Beep! Turn! Right! Yep. Good. Where is it? There it is, okay. Let's... party up. <laughs> and then midnight. Or, nice, but close enough. And now for the Cantors, oh boy. For my sake, I seriously hope I am misreading those as something else. And so far... Scipio, uh, where's... oh. Down here, okay. So let's just climb all the way down. I see the yellow. Oh, I knew it! Those things! I hate those things! Oh, okay. Okay. Okay! Let's get behind it! Make sure it doesn't see us! Don't want to give that Faustum in front! And wow, that did so much damage, it's actually ridiculous. Yeah, get rammed. 
get ran like a boss. And I'll probably get out of regretting this, but uh... Wham! Hey! You can wake up! Nice! Don't wake up, 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 don't wake up! Okay, we're fine. Whew! That feels good. Uh, let's see. It's also good to know that these things actually only come out at night, so... I guess that's something else. Uh, but yeah, these things still give me a bit of the heebie-jeebies. Come on, combine them. No holding Let's get the bus. Yes, the bus. Charge! Ba boom And just in case the thing hasn't seen us yet... Yeah. I'm just gonna avoid my Megaton Beam. Oh, bind! The Binding of Isaac is near! Let's build that TP. Come on, guys. Oh, nice! Nice! GG, my friends, GG. And some slimy FPLA boom with all. Seriously, though, what are these things? They're so creepy. Like, slender creepy, in my opinion. You know, like, they look nor normal-ish, you know? They look peaceful, but if you look at them, they're... Ugh. I don't know. It's just something about them. I'm not missing this chance. Well, at least their um, appearance isn't, you know, fear factor, like Nightmare feel kind of creepy. If they were, they'd be my new animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's, giving me nightmares for who knows how long. Ah oh, man, it feels good to actually conquer that fear a bit. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still don't like the darkness to an extent, but uh, hey. The fact that I can sleep in the, my basement, which I did last night, uh, as this is being recorded, uh, without actually, you know, having to hide under my covers, 